before my work, I used to travel a lot, all those places like Thailand, Kazakhstan, Zimbabwe, Eastern Europe as well. So I managed to see a lot of the world. When I started my family life, I decided to quit my job and go into more back office uh, location at an insurance industry and uh, started a family life and man maintained traveling only then uh, for family reasons, holidays. And uh, as a sports fan, I, I always did some football or uh, hockey and played tennis and played golf. And uh, we went on a skiing holiday. So for my skiing holiday, I, I bought some new ski gear, including a helmet because, uh, yeah, People fell and uh, I didn't want to take risks with a small child. Well, you expect the obvious now is to, uh, that I fell, but that didn't happen. We had a great holiday and came back and enjoyed the pictures of the holiday. And then suddenly what happened, you wouldn't believe it. I went to the toilet and all my muscles broke down. I managed to climb into my bed and the alarm, the ambulance was called and I became paralyzed. With no legs, no arms function and having to lay in bed uh, for the rest of my life, I wouldn't like to live. It was a uh, roller coaster. My, uh, I was lying on the bed. My feet went up. Uh, muscles were coming back, but I, I didn't kick my feet. So why, why, why were my feet going up? My heart rate was uh, tremendous. So uh, the ambulance thought that I had a heart attack. At that time, I was 33 years old, so I, you know, I was thinking, oh, why should I get a heart attack? They called the fire brigade to bring me downstairs, and uh, at that time, I told my wife, I don't want to go into a wheelchair for that. They uh, brought me to a hospital on the south side of Rotterdam and uh, I was put on the uh, intensive care bed. They stripped me and they were thinking, uh, hey, this guy, this isn't the, the correct guy because someone was coming in with a double heart attack. So I, they put me back into the ambulance and told me there's a guy with a double uh, heart attack coming being still conscious, I thought, okay, the guy with the double heart attack is worse off than me. Uh, so I was brought to another intensive care at another hospital. And at a certain time, it became clear that I didn't feel my arms. They were putting my arms in front of me and I couldn't feel it. I couldn't feel my muscles anymore. And uh, after a while, they uh, diagnosed that I was uh, paralyzed. I was uh, told that I had a uh, complete C2, C3 spinal cord injury that would be indicating no leg or arm function and an oxygen mask for the rest of my life. And uh, in those two and a half years ever since uh, the accident, I uh, managed to have a, a C3, C5, C6 spinal cord injury incomplete. So I'm currently not using any ventilatory support anymore. I can stretch my arms, both, both arms. I've got some fingers, unfortunately not in my right hand. And my legs don't work. I, I, uh, I've got some sensation back in my legs and actually I uh, managed in those two and a half years twice to lift my feet 
all those equipment I didn't know that existed. And uh, I would like to say thank you for uh, developing uh, those tools that kept me alive. When I was uh, told that I uh, would be fully paralyzed, I couldn't believe it. I was in such a mental state that uh, I was thinking they were talking about me as a third person. So, um, actually because of my family situation now, and, uh, I, I, I couldn't believe it that that would be the end state. So I, I decided I need to fight. Hielke is a very optimistic person, I would say. Uh, if you look at his situation, he's still trying to continue and see at what angles he can get more benefit from the situation he's in. My level of paradise has come down and it's an incomplete spinal cord injury. So you never know what comes back. Unfortunately, I, uh, I can't go into an MRI because I have a pacemaker. So uh, I don't know the current status, but if there's someone in the audience who has a solution to get to know the current status in my neck injuries, and please step forward. Me and the therapist don't actually know what kind of actions we can take to progress that further, get my legs back on track, so to speak. You need to look on the internet or talk to your therapist. So that's, that's, that's difficult for me to get a full set of insight in all, in all the products. But the amount I see is there's a, a tremendous amount already that exists. You know, uh, identifying which one is the best for you is obviously um, very hard. Uh, the medtech industry, they have developed a lot of products that I use on a daily basis. I've got a lot of sores, so uh, the, the wheelchair cushion is something that I think is a, is a good topic for further innovation like a um, custom made as the wheelchairs the next wheelchair i'm gonna get is going to be custom made i think there should be uh, some kind of a solution for custom made wheelchair cushions when these rounds appear he's lying in the bed for a month's time 24 hours a day and well i think you can imagine how that affects our family life because we have to live upstairs sleep upstairs eat upstairs and he doesn't come downstairs for a month or so, and that's something we hope, and I think Hilke especially, that uh, can be improved uh, with the help of the medtech industry. What is really difficult is to uh, get in contact with the manufacturers and the innovators in the medtech industry, just uh, because I would like to assist um, them with the future products and uh, well I mean I, th I think I can be of assistance in like brainstorm sessions or as a tester in uh, when the product's already there and uh, I've got some ideas for new products so uh, I would like to share them with, uh, with the manufacturers as well as the innovators just to be able to uh, not only assist myself, obviously, but uh, also other people in, in with, uh, spinal cord injury or people in wheelchairs. One of the frustrations he has is that there's not that much contact between uh, the patients and the manufacturers. Uh, you get the stuff delivered without you 
really being able to pick them out yourself and it's just well uh, okay you're yuka you're two meters long so this is what we want to give you and there's not that ma ma much um, interaction between those two i actually would like desperately to, to get in contact with you with the manufacturers and innovators i'm actually a very positive person and uh, because of my education, uh, with the number of people I uh, met in the last two and a half years, I can be assistance of them. So I'm currently in the process of uh, setting up a foundation and I'm looking for sponsors. So if there's anybody out there who would like to assist me in the foundation, please contact me.